to the day day three of the talks uh, of Pwn Conference 2021. Super excited to be back. Uh, it's been awesome seeing everyone in the Slack channels, chit-chatting and sharing pictures and stories. Uh, don't forget about the Twitter hashtag for the uh, Plone memories. That is definitely a thing and something you will want to uh, post up on Twitter. I'll try and post another one today. Yeah, yesterday I posted the 2010 uh, Plone Conference booth. A lot of great people in that picture. Some of, us, some of them still around and uh, doing great work in the Plone community. Other things we've got to mention here. Uh, group photo will be Thursday after the talks, but before the annual meeting. Uh, speaking of the annual meeting, if you are not a member of the Plone Foundation and maybe you're new to the community, you should look into joining. Uh, there is in Loud Swarm on the left hand navigation an area where you can learn more about the Plone Foundation. Always a great group, awesome people to join. I highly recommend joining. Uh, it's a funny story. It was actually, it must have been Van Pai Z 2005, something like that where Joel Burton and I were riding on a bus and he told me I had better join the foundation. And that was my little push to go and join the Plone Foundation and later become president of the foundation. Crazy things happen when you get involved with an awesome group of people and it's a great way to give back because being involved in open source is more than just code, it's also being involved in the projects. I also want to thank our sponsors for the conference today. Uh, well, this whole conference, our platinum sponsors, Six Feet Up, which I am co-founder and CTO of. Uh, we love being a sponsor of the Plone Conference. It gives me a big smile to think about supporting this awesome group of people and all the things we're doing. I also want to thank IMEO as a platinum sponsor. Our gold sponsors are Jazz Carta, Quave, and the Python Software Foundation. Our silver sponsors, Kit Concept, JetBrains, PNZ, Red Turtle, Code Syntax, Infold Systems, Predagov, and Wainwright Musical. Let's give a big shout out to our bronze sponsors, uh, Starzol, Abstract, Zopix, Interactive, Combinat, Ona, CMS.com, Soliton Consulting, Flaps, Zest, Eventus, and e -city uh, City 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 Click. Ooh, sorry, I couldn't say that one right off the t tip of my tongue. And then our supporting sponsors, Raw Material, Mr. Kim Nguyen, and DC Python. I want to thank those folks for continuing support of the, the Plone community. Uh, we couldn't do events like this year after year and continue to support uh, the, the awesome CMS platform that has been available to you folks for how many years now? A lot of years. We just celebrated an anniversary. Pretty excited to be here again. All right. Uh, Another note, don't forget about the Code of Conduct. Uh, this event is definitely following the Plone Community Code of Conduct. If you go to 2021.ploneconf.org, you can check out the Code of Conduct there. Make sure to join all the Slack channels. There are channels for each track. So if you are in Loudswarm, you will see a um, replication of the discussion happening in that specific channel for the specific talk you are in. If you want to participate, you can click the little buttons and actually head directly into Slack and kind of join the back channel discussion while things are going on there. There is a hallway track, which is a great place to post your selfies of all the things you're doing during the conference in real life, because we do still exist in real life. And there's also other channels in there. A general channel kind of catches all the Twitter traffic, things are going on there. There will be a sprint organization going on in the sprint channel in Slack. So you'll see a sprint channel if you're gonna be involved in the sprints or considering being involved in the sprints, which is a great way to get involved in the community. If you are new, just learning, trying to learn all the different things that are make up the Plone stack, the sprints are a great way to do that because you can basically code side by side with those who are doing it um, and they'll, they'll definitely help mentor you. During the sprints though, the sprint will be happening in the um, Discord. So if you aren't on Discord, I'm sure in the Sprint Slack channel, they'll help you get hooked up to the Discord group, but that's where the actual discussions for the specific Sprints will be happening. Uh, if you are checking out in the, I think it's in the hallway track, the Sorrento Fan Zone is doing 360 degree live report outs each morning. Uh, they tweeted or they posted that in their late, so watch for those, kind of fun to watch them hanging out in Sorrento and doing awesome things on Plone. We are at 263 registrations across 39 countries. It's awesome to see that Plone is still a vibrant global community, and we do awesome things here. Uh, after the talks today, 
So this is Wednesday. There are lightning talks. There is a sign up form. If you look in the hallway track, there is a pinned message, I believe, with a link to the sign up form for the lightning talk. So please give a lightning talk. They are awesome. They're fun. There's an easy, low bar, uh, quick five minute talk. If you've ever considered giving a talk at a conference, this is an awesome opportunity to dip your toes into the talk arena. There will be open spaces uh, tomorrow. Oh, no, sorry. Friday all day will be open spaces, but I believe there are open spaces also mixed in on the fourth track uh, throughout the day. There's a sign-up sheet for that as well. If you have something you want to talk about, want to get other folks uh, in on the game, should go ahead and join all those open spaces. They are nice because they are a great way for you to interact with folks in a more informal way than kind of the one-way directional uh, conference, traditional conference talk. After each conference talk inside a loud swarm, there's also a Jitsi link room uh, meeting link. If you want to actually ask the speaker questions, uh, they are more than happy to see your happy faces each morning or each day uh, on, after their talks. Go in, ask questions, uh, kind of ask a, good conversations typically get started there around the subject of each talk. Those links are available in every talk. Every talk has their own link. So if you wanna stay in there until the next talk is over, that's fine. It won't interrupt anybody else's talk. But join those Jitsi links if you want to have that face-to-face -face experience with your uh, fellow conference goers. Today we are kicking off with a keynote uh, by Katie Shaw. Uh, so if you're looking forward to learning more about how to go from opaque to open, uh, look for that here in about five minutes when the keynote kicks off. I'm really excited that she's joined us and will be speaking. I will let her get all set up here though. So I will uh, say have a great day. Don't forget about the party tomorrow after the conference, about 1.30 Eastern time year, uh, US will be the Plone conference party and social. Sounds like there are some games planned, uh, so you don't want to miss out on that. Plone folks do know how to have a good time. Uh, bring your favorite beverages, uh, coffee, tea, water, cocktails uh, are optional uh, and up to you. And we look forward to uh, hanging out and socializing with all the Plone crowd. We'll see you later on.